I'm deeply into the concept of the universe. I don't talk about it often on the internet because mm-hmm. I feel like it can be perceived yeah. with a certain pre uh, preconceived notion. Oh, he's in a god? What? He's an uncle? Oh, he's he's religious? Is he right wing? Is he left wing? I don't know. And usually this freshness that I feel from certain people, I always come to realize that they are the same. They have an inclination towards the concept of god and the universe. Right. I want you to talk about that. That's something I've never spoken to you about, mm. honestly. But yeah. you, you spoke about uh, providence, right? You know, yeah. being taken care of. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel it roots out of that place where you are conscious of that man in the sky just looking after you and throwing down some blessings? Like, yeah. what's what's that like? Because discovering God, discovering the universe is a pleasure you only experience once you put your body and your mind through it, man. Mm. Uh, what's your opinion on this? Yes, yeah, see, I believe in the universe. I believe in God. Now, which God that is, don't, I'm not going to say Jesus is the best. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to talk about our religions. I'll talk about mine because this is about me, not, you know, everyone's free to have their own views. Yes, why give it a name? I've been brought up in Christianity. I'm a Catholic, Jesus Christ. I have faith. I'll use his name in prayers, you know, sometimes subconsciously because maybe that's part of my childhood and stuff. Do you chant in your head subconsciously? Yes, we have our own mantras. We have our own prayers. I say them in the morning. I say them in the evening. Sometimes I say them mindlessly. Sometimes I say them with depth, you know, but my whole point is I don't want to try to understand it further. It's not going to get me anything. You see, a lot of people today are trying to search deeper into stuff. My point is what I've learned is we learn while living life. I can't take a break from living life and decide I'm going to go on this path to search for a deeper meaning because I've seen those people and they finally come back and they're back on that part of life. What what if we find our deeper meaning or whether God is real or not while living life? Everything happens while we're living. Mm. So is there a God? Yes, absolutely. Do I believe in prayer? Absolutely. I've seen miracles happen with my patients who pray. I've seen someone with a brain tumor, a girl in Bandra who would never have the money to go through surgeries. And when she was given, you know, what it would cost her at Leelavati Hospital for the surgery and stuff, she just went home, calm, whatever, said, I'll just go for Sunday mass with faith and whatever and stuff. She doesn't have a tumor anymore today. Mm. Now, what can we say about that? Her belief, her faith, doesn't matter. I don't need to know what it is. I don't need a study to prove it. Mm. It works. It makes you feel good. She has faith. It's worked. I don't need science now to tell her whether it worked or not or whatever. Is prayer. My whole life has worked around prayer. Mm. My whole life, when I need help, I ask for it. If it comes to me, it's great. If it doesn't come to me, I know it's for a better reason. Everything I prayed for, you know, there was a point in my career, I was in that cold call center phase. And at that point, Jet Airways was, was blooming, Emirates. So the, the, the biggest thing was like become an air, per, you know, flight person or an air hostess. That was like the fanciest life. You fly, you travel. And I lived in Chimbai. So as you come out of Chimbai, there's St. Andrew's Church. I would go there and kneel and pray every day. Please make me a flight purser. Please make me a flight purser. It never happened. I went for interviews. Jet Airways got kicked out because I couldn't speak Hindi. Emirates, they said, oh, you have to come to Dubai for the interview. Didn't have money for my ticket, all of that stuff. Today, when I look back, I'm so happy it didn't happen. Mm. I mean, I have nothing against flight purses and all, but for me, it was never the right thing. And I would ask, like, I'm praying so much. Why isn't it happening? So do I believe in God and mysteries, which is the universe? When people say there are mysteries in life, you know, things people are, are scared to discuss that, you know, they, they're easy to say, oh, prove that God exists mm. or prove that the universe gives back, prove all of these things and stuff like prove that. Prove that it I'm doesn't. Saying, yeah, prove that it doesn't is one massive one and look in the mirror. Explain you, explain you from a cell to what you are right now. Can your science explain that? Can medical science explain that? No. Can medical science explain the composition of breast milk and how perfect the composition is? And how did the body make it? No. So let's agree. There are some things in life which is beyond human intelligence, Mm. whether that forces from the universe, God, whatever, your choice. But absolutely. Am I God fearing? I wouldn't say I am because there are many things I've done where if you were God fearing, you wouldn't do it. But I think I'm pretty practical. I understand like, you know, again, we have 10 commandments, okay, in the Bible. Uh, There are so many people who follow the 10 commandments, okay, and there are so many people who don't, who may break them. You know, there's no data showing us that the people who have broken the 10 commandments are the ones suffering. There are people who are doing everything. Suffering is way beyond just your faith in God. It's beyond just these things. It's unexplained. Like you prayed all your life. Why have you gotten sick? 
Okay, I know a priest who has gotten cancer and he asks me, saying, Luke, I've served God my entire life. What do I tell him? Hey, this is part of your plan. What are you going to learn from it? It's part of your plan. Why are you seeing it as a negative? Just because cancer is a negative term. Yeah, maybe you, I wish you didn't have it. You wish you didn't have it. But why don't you consider it in your path like when you preach to us that suffering is a part of life? Mm. Maybe this is your journey that you're going. We have to change perspectives of yeah. how we see it. But yeah, there is a higher force, no yeah. doubt. The universe, where has all this come? Like I'm telling you a story today which doesn't, which goes against everything that leadership teaches you, MBAs teach you, strategy teaches you, and yes, Grace of God, built a successful business, have a great team and all of that stuff without doing anything that the books say that's how success is defined. Where's that come from? My intelligence? No, I've just admitted on your show that I'm, 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 I, was, I was a poor student. I don't have, I don't understand complication. Where's it come from? Mm. A higher force. Mm. Maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe my intentions are good. Maybe I believe in something with faith and I'm getting back from the universe. Mm. You know, if I'm going to sit here today and visualize money coming into my account, I tried it all, the secret, all of that stuff. You know, life is trying to show me that, hey, you've already got what you need in terms of, you know what the, what the mechanism is. You're effective with your patient. Abundance comes in 10 times more than what you're doing sitting and saying, I want five crores, I want 10 crores and stuff like that. So you see, again, the secret or whatever, great books. But if you try to go by textbook knowledge again, everyone right now should have attracted everything, right? Mm. But why not? Everyone's understood the concept. It's alignment. Mm. It's how you take that and align. Most people, Ranvi, when I ask them, say manifest, if you ask me to explain manifestation in two words, which I know works because we've had, I, I have a multiple sclerosis patient who visualized coming to see me and reset one year later, walking. She was in a wheelchair when she came to previous. She came mm. walking with a walking stick. Mm. <clears throat> Diet plan, all of that, what worked for me? Visualize. I saw myself pressing the lift button, getting in, walking to you, and stuff like that. She's saying that's the thing I visualize every single day. So manifestation is two things. One, no crystal clear what you want. There cannot be no, I want to be rich. What is rich to you? Is it money? Is it a BMW? Is it a yacht? Is it family? Is it love in your relationship? You have to be so crystal clear, and then you got to start feeling like you're already getting it. Mm. So how will you, that's it. In the most simple way, visualization, manifestation is crystal clear goal. So when, when I ask people who are struggling in their relationships, what kind of guy do you want? I, I want a hardworking guy. That's not crystal clear. You can get a hardworking guy who beats you up every day. You can get a hardworking guy who's on drugs and alcohol. You have to be so crystal clear about what you want and then start living it like you've got it. Like, how will I feel when I've got this partner? How will I feel when I have a million dollars in my account? But you see, most people are accumulating and not feeling it. That, that, that's when it becomes ingratitude and the cycle breaks. So if you ask me, these things are real. My entire life is built. I told you I never visualized till the age of 34 or 35 when I started seeing the power of this. Today, it's like everything in my life is visualized. Mm. Every single thing in my mm. life is visualized because I have a crystal clear vision of what I want. And the things that I, that I don't get when I reflect, why didn't I get this? I wasn't sure about what I wanted. I just said, oh, I want to be, you know, traveling the world, doing this, this, this. No, I want to be traveling to New York, London, Dubai, Vietnam, crystal clear. And how am I going to be when I land in Vietnam and I have like 100 patients waiting for me? How am I going to be? When I changed that, I started living the dream. Every three months, New York, London, Dubai, Singapore, going towards a wait list of patients. Yeah. Crystal clear. All I did was change the, I didn't have to change anything. I didn't study more to make that dream happen. I had the skills. I just didn't have clarity of thought. So God, of course I believe. Absolutely, the power of prayer, unbelievable to whoever you're praying to. If you really break down prayer, it cannot work without faith and belief. So today, Ranveer, if you're praying to the universe, you're embracing a tree or whatever it is with faith and belief. Again, it's intention connected with thought, clarity, and the feeling that you are going to get it. That's faith and belief. That could be prayer without even re mentioning religion. Without any, we know so many people who chant prayers all the time mindlessly, but yet they're so worried. They come, Luke, I, I'm at Sunday Mass every day. I go to the temple five times. I say five, I do five times of prayer during the day and stuff like that and whatever. And they're so stressed and anxious. I say, if you're praying so much, what happened to faith and belief? You're supposed to surrender your problems. How can you pray and you're still trying to micromanage your problems? Anxiety, you're not praying the right way. So don't blame prayer. Blame the process with, your, with what, what you're doing it. 
I know that, that's the whole point when people say Luke you're not stressed how can I be stressed about something I cannot control what's what am I gaining out of it I have to surrender it I ask for guidance I know I'm going to be taken care of if I can do something do it if I can't I have to surrender it but trying to control something that you can't is the most I think it's a drain of energy and it's something that you can never achieve never ever achieve so we have to know clarity I can control this I can't control this what I can't control so can I am I 100% sure I cannot do anything about it you can't do anything about it surrender let me give you an example a patient you have a patient who's dying okay there are certain things that you cannot do but what's the one thing I can do get the family together make the last few hours comfortable for the patient you know that's the 1% i can do but i can still do something about it i can't change the kidney which is failing hour by hour no one can change that but 1% you can make a difference in that life so there's always something that can be done so yes god be a term and i don't care what people think you know people say oh you're roman catholic oh but like you said but you know jesus did this but I, it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter to me i'm not read the full bible myself i've taken what means to me and i've made my life story out of it so i don't care what people think it's my life my faith what i do is working for me is working for me that's my part couldn't couldn't bother me what what someone's opinion is about it and some people come but look you know this is connected with this have you seen this in this religion and that i said of course the vedas are beautiful the quran is also beautiful but it all comes down to one message kindness compassion faith belief service can you debate any of that he said no it's the same thing i said then for me that's where it ends simplicity why are you complicating it why do you need to complicate it you don't need to this is the same message that every religion is preaching now my question to you is what are you doing about it are you still chasing complication or are you starting to practice what every religion is boiling down to and that's the way i see it so yeah i i don't know if i'm religious i don't think i am spiritual yes do i have faith absolutely yes do i you know can i say every point in my life today is because of what i have done i've been guided you know there are times i've told my team so many times after i've spoken to a client i'm like that wasn't me talking that was up there why should i take credit when i know it wasn't me i'm being guided what to say to a dying patient or a patient over here i've not been trained no textbook taught me that it's a force above that's telling me does this mean i'm some spiritual guru and i have a gift no it's just that i'm open to receiving guidance i don't think now like you we're chasing learning all the time if we put a cap on it we stop receiving when we're open to it we're receiving like i'll tell you where most people fail in meditation they're trying too hard they're trying close my eyes stop my thoughts no meditation is about close your eyes and receive maybe today you won't receive anything in the session tomorrow be open to receiving because power and energy has to be received <clears throat> you can't chase it so meditation most people fail and i can't stop my mind i'm like you not understood meditation just sit down receive what are you receiving in those 5 minutes or your 10 minutes and then take from there and build whatever you have to do so you know these are things which you know uh, people see in different perceptions but now someone would run behind a study and say that unless this is proven i won't do it your loss you're going to waste a lifetime and 10 years later in your life you'll find that oh this study was wrong now which is the next study no use your intuition use your gut instinct science can never explain even surgeons okay use their gut instinct in a surgery if they go by the textbook that if this happens you do this no they think out of the box they use gut instincts and that's how they save their life if they to go by only the textbook the patient dies and every surgeon knows that every pilot knows that there is gut instinct which science can't explain So these are mysteries in life which we should respect we should never ridicule if you don't believe in it fine you ridicule it you know you're only interrupting the energies that are also guiding you but you're too blinded by your own ego and your pride and the confusion in your mind which is why again meditation is so important for us to see clarity like look at you you know look look at you you're different from other people doesn't mean you're better than other people doesn't mean I'm better than someone you're different different is great different is great because you're harnessing energy the same energy all there are four of us in this room right now the same energy exists what you are taking and harnessing that energy and making out of it okay is what is making who you you know you who you are today everyone's getting the same energy everyone that's why we always say stress is not bad stress is an energy it's what you make of it 
It's what you relate to it. You put five people in a room with a problem, some of them will see it as stress, some of them will see it as challenge, some of people will say, no big deal. The same problem, but the way we perceive it, the way we harness it. There's a f***ing tear coming out of my eye, man. <laughs>